What's up guys? And once again, we are live on Yonka's Voice and today is Marty. Nice to a meet you guys. A legend. <laughs> He's a legend. He's like, how old are you, Marty? 22. 22 and already hit 2 million hits on TikTok. But before we go further, let me tell you why we do it. We're doing this because we want to motivate, we want to expose, we want to show the world, not just Yonkers, we want to show everybody that Yonkers is full of positive things, full of positive uh, events, full of positive uh, talent, things that we don't know much about it, but it's happening. Marty, Marty's TikTok just hit 2 million, or oh, it's about to hit 2 million today. But before we go further, I want to let you know that this show is sponsored by Legacy, 371 Warburton Avenue. Shout out Legacy. Yeah, that's the place if you want to look for some good stuff, good uh, sports appeal, uh, hats, uh, that's the place to go. 371 Warburton Avenue, right in your Action Northwoods. We all talk about sharing, we all talk about a positive, but I would personally, I would like to see less talking and more action. So now let's go back at you. How did you start it, brother? So basically, it was during the pandemic, the peak of pandemic. I was bored, I was in the house. I was like, damn, I'm, I'm in the crib every day. I don't know, like I'm just doing nothing, not working. I was like, let me pick up a new hobby. So I learned how to sew. During this time, fitted hats with the pink on the bottom is, was really popular back in 2020. Still popular now, but before, everybody was trying to get one of those hats. So, I was like, you know what? What if I create my own brand and I have my own fitted hats that have the pink on the bottom, because it's rare to get that. But if I have my own, I could have my hats that have the pink on the bottom. So what I did was, I picked up a sew machine, went on YouTube, learned how to do all the tutorials, how to thread the needle, how to sew and everything. And what I started doing was I was getting blank hats. I would cut the brim out and replace the fabric. And then I would sew the pink on the bottom and keep the top the same color as the hat. And then that happened about, that took me about a couple months. Cause I started, I basically came up with my brand and everything November. And I dropped my first, like you could say capsule, which was three different color hats. I did that in January of this year so just before we go much further i want to let you know guys just now just right away i want you guys to go on tiktok look for it. give them the the so my tiktok name is mari underscore nine like n-i-n-e the number four and then teen so mari 914 and since you're there you mind as well mind as well go to instagram and check for legacy 1980 and follow them that way you catch two rabbits with one shot. Yep. Go and do that because it's important, guys. It's important to talk about a positive. It's important to talk about I'm going to support. I, it's important to talk about oh, I appreciate the it. positive. You guys know who that man is. That's Gus. The youth is winning. <laughs> he's winning. I promise you he's winning. Got to put Yonkers on the map. That's it. We need, we need people like you too that can shine the positive. I know that Gus is involved in a lot of positive stuff. You as a young man, I don't know what's your background, but you're moving in the right direction. Yes, he but, is. But, but, but guys, but we talk about supporting them, but lots of time all we do is talk. Let's actually do. Yeah. Go to the social uh, platform pages for him and for, and for Gus, Legacy 1980, and yours, tell them once again. It's Mari 914. So as you're watching this episode, you can also visit those pages and leave us a feedback. Now, yeah. so, great to meet you, bro. Great to meet you. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Take care, man. Right. So now let's talk about motivation. You know, lots of people say, oh, we don't have chances. Uh, yeah. Nothing really happened. Look, you woke up one day and you made it happen. An example from Yonkers, you know, they say Yonkers is like a dark cloud. Like people don't get their shine. There's not a lot of people that make it out from Yonkers. But I'm here to say that's not necessarily true. Just because the location you're in, you're from Yonkers, it doesn't matter because the internet is everywhere. The internet is worldwide. Before, a few days ago, I only had about 300 followers on TikTok and most of them was my friends. After I dropped my video that went viral, I gained over 20,000 followers on TikTok now. 
sort of yeah, from all over the, from all over the world Australia UK everywhere are they writing you asking you yep. stuff they ordering yep so now we need the full people of Yonkers everyone in Yonkers to support you we need everyone to go there and give him a like give him a, a follow do whatever you need to do so let's actually do things let's actually put our words our actions to uh, words to action now you know a lot about your other kids are saying but how can I do it you know and I see that many times people find excuses to mm. fail yeah okay instead of a reason to fight forward things don't come easy you have to work for it for a sure. certain now what's your next step man so right now my next step people they see my video and they're like oh he gave an artist a hoodie and that's what made him blow up well, my next step now is I got to rinse and repeat. Now that I have this big following, I'm making sales way more than I was. But the next step, I got to find the next artist. I'm going to find the next artist very soon. There's a lot I'm not going to speak on, but just know November is going to be a really good month. I'm going to Rolling Loud NYC, which is a, a rap festival. There's like so much artists there. I'm bound to meet a lot of people. And I'm really, I have a lot of things in the works right now, too. So, so guys. This is the, the kind of stuff that we wish all of you would share, okay? Spread the positive. This is the things that we want people to know, people to know about young Kazakh, about the talent, the positive, the young folks like Mari, who are struggling and actually making it happen. But like everything, you know, things don't come easy. You have to put some work to it, yep. Mari, right? Yeah, for sure. So if I want to order something from you, how, where, how do I do it? So basically, you just go on my website. So my brand name is called Angelic Earthling. So you can either go on angelicearthling.com or if you follow me on Instagram, the link is in the bio over there. So guys, Yonka's Voice is always supporting our local artists, uh, rappers, designers, mm -hmm. clothing line, anything that is positive. We have a platform for you so if you want to talk about what you do if you want to talk about the stuff that you do that it's positive the things that you do that can motivate others to be involved in positive things in Yonkers please reach out to us let's make it happen come aboard come and talk to us let the world know about what you do Yonkers voice is not only known in Yonkers there is people who that knows Yonkers voice everywhere. We have followers from China, Australia, UK, Portugal, Italy, Britain, everywhere. So come on down, talk about it, and be a motivation to other young folks. If somebody wants to reach out to you and tell you, look at them, man, what's the secret? <laughs> do you do you give up the secret? Of course I give up the secret because I feel like the plat in the world, everybody can literally go viral. It's no, oh, just because I'm famous doesn't mean they can't be famous. Everybody has an opportunity to, to blow up. And of course, I'll give the secret because I want to see people younger than me or even older than me from the place where I am make it out also. I would like to give people like the secret gems that I did. So it probably gives them a boost, makes Yonkers, uh, puts Yonkers on the map. Well, let me give a shout out to my good friend, Dennis Richmond Jr. Yes. He was the one that connected me to yeah. you. So thank you, thank you, uh, Dennis, for making it happen. You shout out Dennis. He wrote an amazing article, which started everything. The yes. article. Um, when I read it, it was like really amazing. Honestly, I was just like lost of words because it's the first time I actually had an article written about me. And it's the fact that he really the thing that i really appreciate about dennis is he went out his way to do it. like he didn't need to do it but he saw a potential in me and that's what i really appreciate and he took his time out his his day to help somebody like me and now more media outlets more people are finding me locally thanks to him well dennis was supposed to be here where i'm sitting interviewing him but <laughs> due to a conflict of schedule he wasn't able to make it but we could not postpone this interview. We had to do it. Yeah. We had to do it. We had to show you, Marty. We had to talk about the positive stuff that he does. And uh, we cannot let an opportunity to motivate waste. others go to waste. Yeah. Okay? It's important. 
Well, Mari, I wish you the best. Thank so, you. But before you go, let's give them another shout out of where they can go to find your stuff. So on Instagram, my brand page is called angelicearthling.shop. And my personal account on Instagram is mari underscore 914. The way you put 914, you spell out the word nine, you put the number four, and then you put teen. So guys, let's go on, the, on his page. Let's start following because look, the two million hits is just the beginning. Just the beginning. I have so much things in the works next month. It's gonna be crazy. There's another artist I'm gonna see soon. So Yonka's voice putting the light, the shine on our youth of Yonkers, on the positive, on the talent, on everything that he's doing. So follow his example. This is, this is the example you should follow. You know, years ago, if I wanted to learn how to sew, mm -hmm. I had to go to a workshop. <laughs> now with YouTube, YouTube is right it's there. a fountain of knowledge. You can go there and learn from there and then let your imagination go out. Thank you, man. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. Hopefully, we will see you again Definitely. pretty soon. But you know, my only problem is that I know that in no time you're going to hit big. <laughs> and sometimes when you guys hit big, you forget about the little guys. <laughs> nah, the... never forget. N promise? Promise, never forget. Because I will send Uncle Vito after you <laughs> if you forget. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget and to then... follow. Go ahead, go ahead. And also one more thing I want to say is right now, I'm almost sold out in my first collection. Um, I'm working on my second collection right now. It's looking to drop in December. It's going to be way better than the first, even though the first was amazing as it is. I'm just elevating my craft. I'm working on materials, certain sizing, and this is really going to be like groundbreaking for Yonkers and for me. So next time you come to Yonkers show, you have to bring me one of your hats. For sure. Signed up by you, <laughs> because let me tell you, man, in 20 years from now, I'm going to see you everywhere <laughs> and I want to show everyone this is his head. This is one of the first ones he did. <laughs> I was there first. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Until next time.